hello everyone we are uh, here with another example of applet in this example we'll see that uh, the order of the methods uh, called called and um, which one is called first and which one comes next and so on uh, in this uh, example we'll show only init start and paint method in the next example we also include the stop and destroy method so uh, see inside in it uh, I have used system dot out dot println this is the as usual console output uh, method we used in the pre in the console application there is nothing special about that um, I told you uh, earlier that applets uh, in applet it is not recommended to use console IO but you can uh, perform console output using this uh, println or print method but it is uh, recommended for only for debugging purpose so in this example I'm going to show you the order of the calling of the method so we can use it this method over here so one more thing you cannot use any kind of uh, input console input in applet just like we did in uh, using character byte stream we cannot do it here there are some little bit of uh, here input are handled a uh, little bit differently we'll uh, show as we move on to next examples so let's see what happens one more thing I have uh, stored previously taken screenshots so due to there are some inconvenience here so I'm going to show you uh, what the output this applet provides and one more thing the HTML document is unchanged it is as same as the previous code just the uh, body of the init start and paint I have uh, made some little bit of change there so let's see how does uh, the applet do while running see here we have compiled the source code using uh, java c then we have mentioned the path that is java files and then j uh, file name one more thing i didn't use the browser in this application cause in browser there um, have some little bit of problem while doing console application oh, sorry console output so i have used here applet viewer for windows users uh, the syntax is same that is uh, Java is the same for both uh, Linux and Windows and the applet fever and then uh, the fully path qualified file name or if you are in the same path where the HTML file resides then you don't need to do it so applet fever then HTML file name then that's this is my applet inside applet viewer and uh, see first applet initialized applet started and paint called so what is the order of this first init is called then start is called and then paint is called now see this see in this example uh, there is also applet initialized applet started paint is called after that I minimized this window just here I minimized this and uh, then restored it so once again start is called that's why applet started is printed here and then print is paint is called uh, so init is called on only once in applet lifecycle and whenever applet is restored then a start is called one more thing start uh, after right after init it is start the which is called then paint is called so, and uh, from onwards when you minimize or rest minimize then restore the applet then start and paint called uh, they are both called for each uh, restore operation or even you click the applet if it is hidden by another window and uh, these methods are called from uh, in the next example we'll see uh, the we'll see about also stop and destroy method this is the only the this is the today's uh, tutorial uh, keep watching this channel and uh, as I always tell that uh, keep write your own source code thank you